Hello and welcome to another one of our um, product review slash unboxing videos. Um, this is an item we've just picked up from Screwfix. Do you remember how much it was? It was thirty-nine, £39. £39.99. Um, it's a Stanley Fat Max toolbox and what size is it? Right, so it's 26 inches, that's the length, from end to end. Okay. And if we go across here sort of really nine inches, ten in, nine to ten inches depending on where you take it from. Yeah. Right, so so the colour of it is, is obviously black and silver. It's got like a checker plate plate type um feel on the top. Oh, yeah. It's really hard. Let's look at the handle. The handle has got um like almost like a bush or something inside it so when you pull it up it stays at different things and it is substantial and it's rubber it's rubberized on the top yeah. um it's positioned so it balances as well um looks like we've got it looks like you could stack these on top of each other as well yeah it does yeah yeah, I'm the the... yeah i'm guessing you can so right so we've got Something to lock lock it with. A couple of padlocks if you wanted to put them on there by the looks of it. Yeah, it's got two of them, isn't it? Yeah. Um, like this. It's a central side or something. Oh, right, they're just stiff. They're, they're, they're stiff. They're, they're steel. Fairly substantial. Galvanised. Right? Galvanised, so they feel quite, quite good quality, they do. I guess so. This one looks a little bit off here, but. So we've got that. We've got, so it is just a box at the end of the day. So yeah, but if you're thinking of buying one, this just shows you um, what, what you can expect. Small tool tray. Which I guess you'd put screwdrivers and little bits in. And really, so what if they, so if the sides have got like a ribbing to reinforce it. There's some things damaging the side. Um, pinned hinge, piece of metal going all the way through. I'm just wondering how strong this lid is. Oh, you can stand on that right, easy. So there you go. Yeah, you can stand it's quite on it. substantial. Yeah. Um, so you could use it as a step up, or not that yeah, you, not not you should, but you could but, use it for that. It seems alright. Yeah, you get most of your saws in there and a lot of stuff, just tidy everything up, especially your valuable tools. But yeah. What about the bottom of it? Let's see how these do up, shall we? They're quite sturdy, aren't they? Yeah. So, just standard. And it's got like little little bits there. And I reckon you could probably stack these. It's got a safety one. I should think that says don't stand on it. <laughs> that, will, that will say that on the bottom. Don't, don't stand on it. Yeah, I'm sure it says Something don't like stand that, on it. Something like that, but you can if you want to. Um, that way I point. guess it's ideal for sitting on. Yeah, um, having a cup of tea, so it's big enough to sit two people. Um, so that's the Stanley Fat Maps toolbox, 26 inch long. This here would lend itself probably just to hold, put some pipe in and, and using it as some sort of um, cutting area as well. And you obviously got your tray, haven't you? Yeah, I don't know how good the tray is, but I guess you can keep a couple of bits in there. You keep your main to. tools in the body of it, wouldn't you? And then you keep your little bits. little bits in there, yeah. yeah. I mean, we might. It is substantial. It's good. So I like about hinges, although they're really hard to get open. Not hard, but you know, a bit of force open. It just means that if you were in a house doing a little bit of work for somebody with children, um, and you did leave this unattended, as long as the hinge is on, they'd never get it open. So it's in one way, it's all probably unintended. It's a bit of a safety feature. And the drawer, the little plastic drawer, the curb, the angled bits actually fit into there like that. Yeah, so not that left or right, obviously, because they've done it both sides, so it's quite good. Or in the middle. In the middle, whatever you want. Um, it appears to lock in wherever you leave it as well. Uh, it's got some sort of locking. It's got something in the middle here, there. Yeah, it looks like it goes in between where these. Yeah, what these little bits are. It, this thing here will 
I'll go between them and stops, see. Stops, stops it sliding. Stops it sliding around, yeah. Um, so you can't slide it when in transit. Yeah, that's good. That's a good idea. Uh, put it that way. So all your stuff doesn't fall out. Yeah. You? So as a toolbox goes, it looks really durable. Uh, <coughs> it's plastic and aluminium. Probably lasts for years. Well, it's, it's a it's a silver. It's it's all plastic, but it's got an aluminium type colour and effect. Yeah, Stanley. But it is substantial down. structure because you can see what they've done here to reinforce the structure. Yeah. So yeah, so well designed. Um, this is thing, a bit of an odd thing, but yeah, it does look like that's removable. But I guess they've done that. So they've... I'm not quite sure that's this about thing comes that. out. But they would have done that for manufacturing purposes. Yeah. To produce it separately, wouldn't they? Yeah. But yeah, all all in all, yeah, they'll do what we want for. So storage box basically. Um, which you can secure, durable, and, and last forever and looks professional.